What's going on world of YouTube? This is A New Breed coming at you with another video. Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you a couple simple tips that might save your life. Now, I'm talking about in a grid down, stuff hits the fan situation. This isn't a temporary blackout situation or any of the above. But I'm gonna need you to roll with me. And no matter how funny some of these may sound, you're just gonna have to stick with me and roll with the punches. Watch to the end. Because like I said, some of these could definitely save your life. Now we spoke about the gray man before, but in this video, we're going to talk about a few tips for blending in. So like I said, stick with me because this one might get deep. Okay, I want you to look at this picture. Now in this picture, this is a total blackout. This has completely everything blacked out. That's what a blackout is going to look like in the stuff hits the fan situation, regardless of what city, state, or area you're in. This is just about the general. Now this is a solar generator. Well, as preppers, some of us have our gas, our solar. We have different types of generators to produce light and to power the things that we need in the stuff hits the fan situation. But I want you to notice something. Take a look at this next picture. You notice something different? Exactly one house has lights on so that house becomes a glowing beacon for everyone to see so tip number one is if it's a blackout keep the lights out because you have to blend in and you will become a glowing beacon of hope hoping people can take your stuff now i'll probably be showing my age but we all know waldo well if you're of that age now let's take a tip from where's waldo he was good for hiding and blending in now let's talk about some other tips to hide and blend in based off of your look and your clothes. Now one of these things doesn't belong and you probably caught it as soon as you looked at the picture. Now let's take a look at these people. They're all standing in line. Do you notice anything out of the blue? Possibly not. A lot of these people fit in in the city. And when the government starts, if stuff hits the fan, They'll be passing out food to individuals, and it's best to get in line only to maintain a low profile, not letting people know you have preps. Now, let's take this guy. He doesn't seem like he would fit in. Weapons, whole nine yards, top to bottom. Yeah, let's be honest here. He would stick out like a sore thumb. So if you were looking for somebody, that would probably be it. The tactical prepper, regardless, may look intimidating to certain people, but not to all. In my opinion, if you have a group with you, the tactical approach is just fine because you always have someone there to watch your back. That is of the utmost importance, especially in a city or a place where there are going to be numerous people. Once again, back to this guy. If people see what you have and want what you have, they'll go to no extents to get it, even if they have to plot or do whatever they have to do in order to get what you have. So think about it. Ah, the sense of smell such a wonderful thing also such a telling sign now in a grid down stuff it's the fan situation you're going to want to mask your smell and once again this comes with blending in in today's world we've come quite accustomed to having things like colognes body washes oils there's many different things that'll make you smell good but let's be honest here in a grid down situation not everybody's going to be smelling as fresh as they should so in a grid down situation, if you think you're going to be walking around smelling like freshly folded towels coming out of a dryer that are snuggle soft, reality check here, that's not going to happen. The cold cruel reality is, after about the first week or two, especially if it's a grid down situation with no water, people will start to develop horrible body odor. Just being honest with you. So the reality is that if you want to blend in, especially in that situation, you're going to have to try and go out smelling like hot garbage and dumpster fire, regardless of if you have soap and the other necessities. Now, that's not to say you can't shower, but if you do, be sure to mask your scent. There are many unscented soaps you can find on the market. Me, myself, I have stocked up on unscented soaps, you know, just in case, and also, they come as a really good bartering tool. Now, another thing I invested in is a portable shower. It's kinda cheap, you can find them for eh, 10 or 15 bucks, depending on where you shop at. Now, but remember, after you shower using your unscented soap, you get so fresh and so clean, there are colognes out there that can actually make you smell worse. So, grab one of those, 
spray on liberally, slap on a little bit of dirt, and do your best pig pen impression from Charlie Brown. Next up, dental hygiene. Now, some people spend thousands of dollars getting those pearly whites, but in a stuff hits the fan situation, those pearly whites will be a dead giveaway letting people know some of the stuff that you have. When it comes to dental hygiene, there's a lot of different products. Of course, you got your toothpaste, toothbrush, floss picks, mouthwash, dental floss. There's a lot there. And me, myself as a prepper, I've stocked up on a lot of it. You can go to the dollar store, stock up on it because it can be used for your own hygiene. Also, it can be used as a bartering tool. Once again, I will mention certain things being bartering tools. But let's be for real here. If you go out and your teeth are as white as Negan's in the middle of The Walking Dead during a zombie apocalypse, you really think somebody's not going to notice? Let's be for real here. So, in a stuff hits the fan situation, if everyone else's teeth look like Mr. Red has a bad tobacco habit, you better follow suit or just keep your mouth shut. There are always alternatives like chewing on Tootsie Rolls, chocolate candy, or coffee grinds in order to stain your teeth. But then again, who wants to chew on coffee grinds? Stock up on Tootsie Rolls if you can. Okay, now this next one is a touchy subject. And this isn't to shame anybody or anything else, but just understand, in a stuff hits the fan situation, there will be a lack of food. So therefore, you're going to have to slim down and fit in with the crowd or buy baggier clothes. Now, understanding how to properly slim down, especially in that situation, is based off of your caloric intake. I'll get into caloric deficit in another video, but basically you want to take in less calories than what you're burning and you will lose weight. So just keep that in mind. So if this guy walks up in a food line, you'll probably notice he has food rations. He has extra food, extra calories, and people will possibly follow him. So best bet is kind of drop a little bit of weight and make it look like that you are losing weight and you're not eating with everyone else. If the group looks like they're on a diet of air sandwiches and two tablespoons of dirt. So if the rest of the crowd looks like 50 cents after pitcher when he was going out for the all things fall apart movie, then trust me, you ain't got to get that skinny, but at least try and follow suit and lose a couple of pounds just in case and make sure no one notices. Now back to smell again. Everybody knows how wonderful a barbecue smells. Sometimes you can smell barbecues from a couple blocks away. I've smelled them from a few houses over. I've even caught them from barbecue joints and you can smell them two, three blocks down. So realistically, watch what you cook. Just because you smell it and it smells good, everybody around you is going to smell and know it smells good. And if you get the right tracker, they can figure out if it's upwind, downwind and get to your location. So if you have to cook into something that smells good, Burn something less appealing so that smell masks the smell of whatever good food that you're cooking. It'll throw people off. So before you go out there to a food line or wherever people are getting rations and they're only getting porridge or rice or something like that, don't go out there smelling like Odor de Dorito. Trust me, people will pick up and they'll notice. Sorry, these aren't in order. Just kind of winging it. So once again, bear with me. Next tip, trash and disposing of it. You have to understand that in a grid down situation, people will be going through things like trash, not only looking for food, but looking for signs that someone else has something. So if your trash isn't properly disposed of, they'll pick up on it. So if everyone else is actually eating what they have out there and someone goes to your trash and finds, of course, candy wrappers, different things like that, they're gonna notice what you have and they will watch you, they will track you and they will keep an eye on you because somebody wants what you have downplay Oscar to Grouch if you want to, but he knew what everybody was doing and he knew what was coming and going only because he knew it was in everybody's trash. So there was no hiding anything from him, literally. Next up, we'll talk about physique. Now, some people may disagree, but this is just my outtake. Well, we look at physique. Those who are really big, who walk around very intimidating people. Understand that does have his back draws too. Well, to be honest, I am personally enjoying nothing like a good old fashioned brawl, you know, throwing hands, shooting the ones, fist of cuffs, whatever you want to call it. But we live in a country where there are more guns than people. So you really believe that somebody's going to go heads up if you look that intimidating? Nah, I think again. In the immortal words of my grandpa, well, that's not my grandpa, that's Danny Glover. 
but he would always say you young thundercats go ahead y'all go down there go to the gym and get all buff but i tell you like this i'm too old to fight you and buff ain't never stopped a bullet see i heeded my grandpa's warning and in a world without rule of law stuff hits the fan go out there thinking you're gonna fight if you want to and somebody will spill your noodles quicker than you can say mike tyson's punch out now this one goes out to all the beautiful women regardless of your race ethnicity your size i hope you're used to going natural because all your makeup is gone out in them streets it's gonna be like the grinch who stole makeup like literally makeup gone eyeliner and all that other good stuff gone so those who rely on makeup in order to beautify themselves will really have to look deep for inner beauty yeah i know you thought that was going to go for a joke but not nah. Literally, people are going to have to rely because this system has given us a false sense of beauty. So, inner beauty and true beauty will show after stuff hits the fan. Women who wear makeup will be targeted because they will believe that they have stuff. Now, you could buy makeup as a bartering tool, but also understand there are repercussions for bartering with makeup and giving it to somebody on their end. Now, I don't know about you, but music is very important to me. I have a soundtrack for most of the stuff I do in my life, from meditation to exercise when I'm out gardening. I have specific music that puts me in specific moods. Well, gonna have to cut that one down. Silence is golden, and in the grid down, stuff hits the fan situation, you won't be able to play your music loud or almost at all because you don't want people to pick up and know that you have electronic devices. There are going to be things in your devices that you will need, funny pictures, family pictures, things that'll make you go on, but literally, cut the music down. Problems figuring out what to wear? Well, when stuff hits the fan, that's a thing of the past. Due to the fact it really won't matter. You won't have anyone to impress, you won't have anyone to go out for, you won't have anything to go out for. So, hope you got some strong hands, because you're going to be hand washing. And speaking of hand washing, remember that toilet paper rush of 2020? It won't be long for either people are hoarding or taking the toilet paper. So stock up little by little while you can, because eventually when it runs out, that hand washing might not be so appealing. All those expecting mothers, people with young children, well, I hope you stocked up on diapers at least till the little one is potty trained, because in a grid down, stuff at the fan situation, guess what? Back to cloth diapers it is. I've never seen one in real life personally. I've heard about them back with my grandma and different ones. But yeah, back to cloth diapers and hand washing. So hope you stocked up on diapers. And if you didn't, hope you stocked up on gloves. Okay, so now that the video is over, I was actually trying to run an experiment. I wanted to see if people liked more humor than they did seriousness. Like my last videos, I try not to frighten anybody because I want people to be prepared without gaining anxiety or being distrustful. You know, there's a lot going on in the world and I don't need to add to what's going on on people's plates. So I'm trying to do videos that are kind of make you feel decent about yourself, have you be conscious about your decisions without scaring you into buying something or getting something you probably shouldn't. Because this is prepping. You got people who will say that, oh, you know, there's prepping's no joke. Good for you. Well, the thing is, different people enjoy prepping different ways. Like me personally, prepping is a hobby. It's not just a way of life. It's a hobby. I enjoy it. So I want other people to enjoy prepping, maybe get a smile, maybe think about different things and ultimately feel good about themselves while prepping and learn a few things. So if the humorous side helps you learn a couple things, you know, go ahead and let me know. And if you like the more serious, let me know. But I do want to thank everybody for coming out. It's greatly appreciated. I definitely hope y'all enjoy. Y'all have a blessed evening. And remember, if you're ready, you ain't got to get ready. I'll catch y'all later. This is Amy Bree signing off.